Hello and welcome. I am No Coffee, No Life. And today is all about difficulties building in the wasteland. Inadvertently, of course, because that wasn't the plan, you know, when deciding to make a video on a location that you can build a camp at. Clearly the joke was on me. Anyways, if you haven't guessed already, we're in the Savage Divide and we will be building at this Raider Windmill just to the west of Top of the World, or I should say just down the mountain from the Top of the World. So let's get to building. So the space around this windmill is actually fairly clear. However, it is at an angle and that angle, along with all of the things that make this a raider encampment, like the disembodied heads on poles and cables and tires and various detrius makes it difficult, and that's putting it nicely, to put things anywhere here or to build anywhere near this tower. And I started and stopped and restarted this a number of times before I finally just said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and reset my entire camp and start one more time to do this. And this was the successful one, the best camp to come out of this because I built off of the side of it because I wanted to build close to this tower and build it so that it looks like it's bridging to this windmill that's at the site. And I did it. This foundation is four foundations with an additional foundation off to the side. It's gonna stay this general shape, but we're going to add an additional two foundations to the left side of the structure. And I'm going to replace one of those foundations with a porch piece. And the foundation next to it is also going to change, but you're gonna see that in a second. That stair isn't staying. I'm just slapping up walls here, getting it to look kind of the way I want it to. We're gonna place a junk fence here, push it out far enough the way I'm showing you so that it will show once you destroy it, you can slap a wall behind it and it'll look perfect like one contiguous junk wall. I'm putting this siren here because it's actually gonna look great in that spot, I think, and it adds a little bit more texture. Now I'm gonna burn it and we're gonna remove everything that's not staying in this build really quick. Bye bye. And this is now the general shape of the build. I wish I could tell you at this point that there were no serious changes to the build, but I would be lying if I did that because as you're going to see, I'm going to add and remove a number of things to this build. I'm going to change the walls around. I will place some walls that eventually get moved again. I'm going to put these roofs down and they do stay with the addition of another angled roof when we eventually tack on the additional two foundations on the left hand side. So that pole right there that I wanted to incorporate into the build is not letting me place anything I really want to place so I'm going to tear down this entryway. Um, just, just tear it all down. <laughs> the whole space. It's like, nope, just gonna destroy it all. Remember how I said there were gonna be changes still and I would be a liar if I didn't say so? This is the change. So I added on two more foundations and I'm moving my walls over so that it's closing it off. And I'm putting the roof on, changing the walls, destroying what I need to, getting it all the way to where I want it to be. Destroying that. And there, there we have it. This is how it looks. Now, this is gonna be the entryway that you see in the final build. This log cabin porch foundation because it's not bothered by that pole. So it's our entrance. I'm gonna put this fan because if I don't do it now, it will be very difficult to put it in because I won't have enough space in this tiny, tiny area. So it's hanging we're good to go. There's going to be one more change that I think I forget to document on video to that center roof. But other than that, this is how it's going to look for the rest of the build. No kidding. No jokes. This is literally, oh wait, I take that back. One of the walls is going to be removed. But beyond that, it's going to look like this. We're going to slap some defensive uh, fences around just to make sure that we're safe and secure. As safe and secure as a raider encampment can be. And this is what it looks like right now again. So we've finally finished putting together the main part of the building. Now 
we're gonna bridge the space between these two things the windmill and the building and you can see I'm I'm gonna place this perimeter wall frame on this foundation and it merges beautifully between the two but I want to put stuff underneath it and therein lies the problem. I'm gonna put this junk fence here. So I had everything merged and set up the way I wanted sitting on a rug and I was going to put it underneath the stair because usually that works without any issue. I quickly realized that I was not going to be able to place any of this stuff so I decided in the interest of expedience that I would just go with a different plan and burn everything that I was going to put underneath this so that I wouldn't have any issues with those stairs and I wouldn't have to waste any more time on this supposedly simple addition to the build. Two registers, a dresser, and a stash and a scrap box should fit comfortably underneath the stair but apparently Bethesda doesn't want us to make our bases look like something that you would see. I'm sure Bethesda would say we can't do these things because the engine, but I'm going to show you a little bit later that that's not the case. Now here's the little later that I was talking about. See this bed? This regular standard stock came with the original game bed. I ignore the, the dead body for right now. I'm going to put this in the corner and I'm going to merge some stuff underneath it. Obviously I do this almost every build. We're going to eventually place it because I don't know why I'm dithering because there's a body I don't know anyways eventually it'll place okay so I'm gonna show you something that I stumbled across and and I'm probably not the first one to have seen this I was just flabbergasted after the whole stair debacle that that this was a thing I'm gonna put these boxes on top okay just the, the usual putting things that I'm gonna merge and put underneath the bed and now I'm gonna put the third thing this concrete tire and I just want you to see this see look at the look at that it it went under without any issue and I can snap it down right now and it's perfectly fine this game you can stuff things underneath things and it will work or should work without any problem and and if you think I'm I'm fibbing here and that I can't put it under with all this junk already there. No, 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 watch. Oh, ig ignore these bodies. This this is not part of the thing. I, I'm just leaving it in here because I want to show you this is where the wall went because they took it out and I'm going to repair this wall. And I saw that empty space and I was like, oh, hey, look, that's great, a missing wall. But uh, this is besides the point. We're going to get back to this tire. See, look at this, look at this. The, the boxes are already down there and I placed it. Now we're going to get to adding things to this tower, which is my last final issue. Not issue, really, but it's the last hurdle to completing this camp. See how easy that weapons workbench placed? This lamp, I have to go up to place it. And this box, I have to go up to place it. It'll eventually place, obviously, because you'll see it later on. So I've got the box this lamp. I'm going to move the box back by, and put the lamp in front. I'm going to place that box. And now here, you see, this is another instance of, oh, look, there's enough space down there to put something. I should be able to put it. Now I spent at least an hour putting this box underneath, waiting to find the right spot. I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to know that, you know, this is possible. It's blueprinted, it's down there, it's underneath the table, and now it's all perfect. So we're gonna go to the, oh wait, I'm sorry. We're gonna put this, this poster up on the wall so that we have a little more decoration here. Easy peasy. This chair is gonna go down here and then we're gonna put a candle next to it. And now for the final landing, after I put this candle away and trot up the stairs, we have this bed. And I'm gonna move my camp module. I left it here because this is a great spot for it. People spawn in the camp. Like not under the foundation, like in the camp without getting caught in anything. So I want to put a sleeping bag on top of this to add a little more color to this dirty mattress that's sitting on the floor. Instead of the standard, I picked the poodle sleeping bag because I wanted something a little different on top of this dirty bed to make it a little more personalized. Now, I can't obviously, because of the angle and such, put it down on the mattress. Do you know what I had to do? I had to jump to put this thing down. I literally had to step out 
onto the ladder and jump to place it. Like, why can't they give us an editor that I can pull back and look at this from a distance and place items? What is wrong with you, Bethesda? What, why are you not thinking of the end user? Literally, I have to back up down this far, down the ladder, and jump. And thankfully, I have marsupial because, my God, imagine how, how this would be if you only had a regular jump. It would be a nightmare. But eventually, you'll hear it. There, there it went. It went. It placed. Look at that. And there we go. Our, our sleeping bag. And, of course, the minute I go to adjust it, it's not going to let me. It's going to say, oh, you can't do that. It's, it's, it's not possible. Selected item is floating. So, you know, there, there we have that. And now I'm going to finish decorating that third topmost landing with some flowers and some other things. It's a little sparse and I do want to set aside some things for each part of this tower. Every build deserves some flowers and plants and frankly Bethesda needs to give us a lot more of them and not necessarily through the Atom Shop. And here it is! The completed build after all the work and rebuilds and frustration and many 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 raiders that died in the process of building this thing it's here and it looks great so let's take a look inside shall we i have cluttered up this porch and those are some really bright plants at night i wasn't expecting that anyways uh, i've got a collage here with ski west virginia prominently displayed and a little ghost. Our candy bowl has made a reappearance as um, have these guys. They're, um, I guess, sleeping it off. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Sleeping off whatever they had earlier in our lovely kitchen area that is quite cluttered. Look at those shelves. And even more shelves on this bookcase are cluttered. We'll step over these guys because they're in the way. A lovely office area with that corner chair that usually is filled with junk, random things that you don't want on your desk or anywhere else. There, here's the living area with the collage and a magical view of the top of the world from our seating area. And our bedroom, look at how well that, that siren blends into the wall with its bars that look like giant staples. It's just so cool. And I love how this room turned out. It's totally cluttered and has weapons on the wall and morbid paintings, a decrepit flag. You know, the kind of stuff you would expect at a raider encampment, like the bodies. Let's go and see the rest of the camp. I'm sure someone will clean up after we're gone. Now onward to our little vendor area, tucked underneath these stairs. Thankfully, Bethesda has fixed that um, exploit where people could scrap your stuff. Thank you, Bethesda. You responded in a relatively prompt and timely manner, as a company should when customers have issues. Here's the first landing in its completed state with that box, thankfully, underneath the table. The weapons workbench, lamp, boxes, and conveniently a rifle that spawned there on the table along with its bullets. It all just looks great together. Let's go on to the next landing past this solar panel and machine gun turret that needs repair. We have our chair and candles on the ground cluttering up the place. Somebody has already been by here to steal the things on the shelves. And finally, our topmost landing, the perch with the bed and all the tchotchkes on the floor and our camping module. And this beautiful, beautiful view of West Virginia. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I enjoyed making this build and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned something from it. More importantly, if you like what you see here, then click on that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're aware when new videos release. But until next time, happy building in the wasteland. This is clearly Raider Jail. <laughs>